Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Some very interesting news coming from the Auburn Tigers out of the transfer portal as they land the commitment from former quarterback at TCU and at Cal, Sam Jackson, coming into Auburn to play wide receiver. And this is a position group that we talked about for Auburn as being a priority. You have a ton of young talent coming in that 2024 class but you kind of want to supplement some of that young talent with some veteran players. Now, Sam Jackson going to be playing receiver, making the move from quarterback, massive fan of this, and a couple different storylines to kind of keep in mind. Sam Jackson, Peyton Thorne played their high school football together, and before Sam Jackson made the transition to quarterback at the high school ranks, he was Peyton Thorne's wide receiver at the high school level, catching for over 900 yards. 14 touchdowns as a sophomore when Peyton Thorne was the senior quarterback. I'm a big fan of this. And if you guys have listened to me talk a few times about this in the past, quarterbacks that make the transition to wide receiver always interest me because you're getting a really heady wide receiver. And Sam Jackson has all the athletic traits to be an elite wide receiver. Now you pair that with his quarterback knowledge of the sport. We're going to talk about what Sam Jackson brings to Auburn, do a little update on what Auburn's done in the transfer portal, talk about a few more prospects that we're keeping an eye on for the Auburn Tigers. Before we get into it, just want to say thank you to you guys and a shout out to the Auburn fans. This has been a program that's been a blast to talk about. And I say it all the time, Hugh Freeze really just invigorating this fan base and this program. And you're seeing it happen on the recruiting trail, a ton of talent getting injected into this program. And as a recruiting nerd myself. Love talking about this program. You guys have shown a ton of support. If you guys do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And without further ado, let's get into Sam Jackson. And so a little career trajectory for Sam Jackson, obviously played a little wide receiver at the high school ranks. And the narrative around Sam Jackson coming out of high school in that 2021 class was he's a guy that can play quarterback, but at the end of the day, he needs to impact the game at the college football level in any way possible because he has the athleticism and that juice to do so. So he goes to TCU for two years, is a reserve quarterback, was used as a kind of wildcat quarterback at times for TCU, then goes to Cal, battles it out for that quarterback one spot, deals with some injuries, and now he's coming to Auburn as a wide receiver. And you look at some wide receivers in the past that have made the – or quarterbacks in the past that have made the transition – to wide receiver, there's a lot of evidence that this kind of stuff works. Now, the first thing you need is the athleticism to excel at the wide receiver position. Sam Jackson, you just turn on some highlights of Sam Jackson. You certainly see it. We're going to turn on some film from Sam Jackson as a sophomore in high school catching balls from Peyton Thorne. But you look in the past and you have guys like Julian Edelman, Anquan Bolden, Heinz Ward, guys that played the quarterback position and then made that transition to wide receiver. Now, what do all those things have in common? Heinz Ward, Julian Edelman, Anquan Bolden, some of these smarter, headier wide receivers that you saw at the college level and at the NFL level. Like a guy like Julian Edelman, right? Played quarterback at Kent State, makes the transition to that slot wide receiver role for the New England Patriots, completely excels. Now, why did he have so much success at the wide receiver spot? My argument would be he understands the game of football at a high level. Let's make no mistake about it. Quarterbacks, understand the sport at just a a deeper level than other players around the football field because they need to. And Sam Jackson playing three years of college football in a quarterback room, he has a strong understanding of the game. So what are some things that Sam Jackson can do that provide some value outside of just his raw athleticism, his ability to work after the catch, have the football in his hands, create separation. He's a guy that knows how to sit his routes down. Right, If he sees zone coverage, he knows how to present himself to the quarterback. He knows how to operate in space and find space in coverage. Right, He's a guy that when he's lining up as a wide receiver, he's probably understanding what kind of coverage concepts that he's getting and saying, okay, this is the spot I need to get to in the football field to present myself to the quarterback. And having played three years of quarterback, he's going to be a very quarterback-friendly wide receiver because he understands what the quarterback is looking for in needs from a wide receiver and you kind of combined the athleticism that Sam Jackson displayed, even during that Auburn game. And there's no doubt in my mind, that's why Hugh freeze goes out and gets a guy like Sam Jackson, but you're combining the athleticism 
So with another aspect of playing wide receiver that I don't think a ton of people give enough credit to, and that is understanding how to create separation and understanding how to present yourself to the quarterback. I think Sam Jackson is going to be able to do that. You take a look at some other guys, Braxton Miller at Ohio State did this. Luke McCaffrey, Christian McCaffrey's little brother, started his career as a Nebraska quarterback. Now he's an all-conference wide receiver for Rice. If you have the athleticism and you understand how to get open, how to present yourself to the quarterback, how to find space and coverage, those are some things that I don't think get talked enough about. And it's one thing to be a guy like Cam Colvin and just big, strong, fast, and just physically gifted. But if you can combine that with an understanding of how to play the position, how to play the sport, I think you're going to get a guy in Sam Jackson who I'm not necessarily saying he's going to come in and knock it out of the park, but I think there's a possibility that Sam Jackson kind of blossoms into a wide receiver that might be Peyton Thorne's best friend. And you go back to their high school days and want to turn on a little film, they have some chemistry. And I was watching a little of the film this morning, and you see Sam Jackson and his natural athleticism. And at the end of the day, okay, if quarterback didn't work out, he's a little bit smaller, maybe not the arm talent as some other quarterbacks. He's got to find the field because he's athletic enough and kind of has that playmaking ability to do so. And you fire up the film, you see the blatant chemistry. And this is Sam Jackson as a sophomore in high school, making some things work. And you've got one of the better quarterbacks, Peyton Thorne at the high school ranks, slinging the rock, throwing him open. He's very, very good after the catch. There's one thing you're not really doubting with Sam Jackson. And again, Hugh Freeze saw this when Auburn played Cal on the road earlier this year. He has the athleticism to play quarterback. Now, I would say, I mean, this is probably a good example, just sitting it down in coverage, presenting yourself to the quarterback, making people miss. You see the long speed that he has. I'm really excited to see how this works out. And I'm saying, is Sam Jackson going to come in and immediately, you see the ball skills right there. I'm mean, that. This is special. I mean, this is this is stuff that, like, if you're looking at, can Sam Jackson make this transition to wide receiver? I mean, look how comfortable he is with that football in the air. Back shoulder, I'm going to go up and make a play on it. I'm really excited to see what Sam Jackson brings to the table for Auburn. And, again, a wide receiver room that it, there's some talent in there. There's a lot of talent in there, right? Perry Thompson comes in the summer. I believe Cam Coleman enrolling early. You have a guy like Bryce Kane coming in. Not that much veteran talent. And I think Sam Jackson can maybe provide a, a, a player in that wide receiver room that has some experience in this Auburn wide receiver room. You look at what they've done in the portal, and I don't think Hugh Freeze has done, and we talked about this a couple days ago. I think Hugh Freeze and this coaching staff put a lot of emphasis on closing out the 2024 high school ranks strong. And I think now his effort and his attention is now going to shift to flipping Ryan Williams from Alabama, but also in the transfer portal. And you have a guy like Darian Mabasu coming in from Duke, who I was looking at some of the numbers, kind of a tackling machine, over 190 tackles during his career at Duke. Gage Keys, a guy that's going to add depth in a rotational player on that defensive line. And then you have a guy like Robert Lewis coming from Georgia State, who is extremely productive at the group of five level. I'm a fan of what Auburn's done in the transfer portal so far. <clears throat> but I think if you look at it, I think they're just getting started. Right, You have a guy like A.J. Harris, former five-star from Georgia, trending to the Auburn Tigers. I would be very surprised if he doesn't end up as an Auburn Tiger at some point in the next couple of weeks or days. We'll talk about that when it happens. I think you're going to see a lot more commitments from Auburn in the transfer portal over the next couple of days. Again, Hugh Free is now focusing his attention to that transfer portal. Sam Jackson. Really excited to see what he can do from Auburn. I know it's kind of a weird one. When I saw it pop up on my phone late last night, I said, I first thought he was going to play quarterback. Then I said, that's kind of interesting. He hasn't had a ton of success at the quarterback level in college football. And then I saw as a wide receiver, and then I start reading that he played ball with Peyton Thorne at high school. And I said, I can get behind that. I'm a big fan of quarterbacks who have the athleticism to, to play the wide receiver position, making that change because they understand the sport at a high level, Sam Jackson, one that might fly under the radar a little bit. I think Auburn fans have a lot to be excited about here. Again, appreciate you guys rocking with the fellas. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll talk to y'all later.